Hi, today I have prepared two uh, true-false questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the statements and answers, choose your correct answer, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here's the first statement. Typically, a small subset of genes are expressed in each type of cell within an organism. And the answer would be true because those we have uh, between 23 and 25,000 genes, not all of them are expressed. Uh, if we would have all the genes uh, expressed, this would be analog of anarchy. And um, imagine that uh, all of the cells within uh, our organism can be uh, subdivided to different type of cells uh, that stands for the different tissues and um, of course uh, different tissues vary because different genes are expressed within those tissues so in every tissue only a small portion of the total genome would be expressed and only a small portion of that uh, portion would be expressed uh, at the same time simultaneously because this is uh, we can compare with an orchestra so not all the instruments play simultaneously some uh, would turn on and another turn off also any multicellular organism would have such genes that would be uh, always expressed no matter what type of uh, tissue and uh, we call uh, such genes housekeeping genes. And these genes or proteins that these genes are good for are needed for the, any type of the cell, for example, for uh, respiratory function, for energy production and consumption, and for the waste management. If normal genes are present usually in copies between 5 and 10 per each cell. Um, housekeeping genes are present in the any type of the cell uh, in copies between um, 20 and 30. So uh, some of them uh, can be even present in thousands of copies. For example, uh, any cell would need a lot of uh, proteins and uh, we need ribosomes uh, in order to produce proteins. So those genes that code for the production of ribosomes and ribosomes consist around 50 different um, proteins and 50 different um, RNA. So genes that code for, the, for these uh, proteins can be present in thousands of copies. And once again, in multicellular organism, due to specialization of different tissues, only a small number of genes would be expressed during lifetime of this um, cell that represent particular tissue. And next statement or question, given an inheritance pattern of incomplete dominance and 81 flowers are red and genotype uh, capital R1 capital R1 18 flowers are pink capital R1 capital R2 and one flower is white capital R2 and capital R2 the frequency of the R1 allele is 0 0.9 so we have to choose whether it is true or false statement Let's organize this information in a more convenient way. So we have uh, red flowers uh, and number would be 81 and genotype would be R1, R1. So this is going to be a genotype and uh, we also have uh, 18 flowers that is pink. So here is the pink flowers and here is the red flowers. So uh, the genotype would be 
R1, R2. And also we would have uh, one flower that belongs to the genotype that is R2, R2. So, uh, and this is going to be white flowered plant. And why we have uh, in um, incomplete dominance three phenotypes. And here uh, explanation. So imagine that we have uh, two parents whose genotypes would be R1, R2. So phenotypically uh, they are going to be pink. So genotype R1, R2. So we cross two such parents. And here if we build a Punnett square uh, we would be able to find uh, the genotype. So here we would have R1, 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 R2 here, and R1, R2 here, and R2, R2 here. So as you see, plants that has uh, genotype R1, R1 would produce uh, flowers that is red, genotype that is R2, R2 would produce flowers that is uh, white, and genotype that is R1, R2, we have uh, two out of four such genotypes, would produce flowers that is going to be intermediate genotype and uh, intermediate phenotype between these two extreme phenotypes, so because uh, R1 uh, allele would be incompletely dominant over the R2. So here we would have intermediate color. So intermediate color between red and white would be pink. So uh, as you see now our problem can be resolved very easy. We have three genotypes here. We have only two types of allele and this is going to be allele R1 and uh, alleles R2. So uh, now we have just to count how many we have uh, R1 type alleles and how many we have R2 types alleles. So uh, here uh, in this example we have 81 plants and each plant would have two R1 alleles. So we have to multiply 81 by 2. So the total number of alleles would be 162. So this is going to be R1 alleles. And here we have 18 plants but uh, each plant would have uh, one R1 one allele and R2 allele. So if we have 18 plants, that means that we would have 18 R1 alleles plus 18 R2 alleles. So, and in our last example, we have one plant with uh, genotype R2, R2, so that means that we have two R2 alleles here. And now it would be very easy to calculate the number of alleles. We just have to add these numbers. We have to combine 162 with uh, 18 and this 18 R2 uh, alleles we have to combine with um, two R2 alleles from this genotype. So here we would have 180 R1 alleles, so the total number 180, and uh, number of R2 alleles 
in this gene pool would be 20. So as you see, this is going to be 90% and R2 type of allele would be equal to 10%. So if we combine these two numbers, we are going to get 200 and 180 would represent 90% and 20 would represent 10%. So we got our numbers on the scale between 0 and 100%. And in our problem, uh, we have a statement on the scale that is uh, 0 0.9. So this is different scale and it's very easy to convert one scale into another. So uh, another scale would be between 0 and 1. So 1 would equal to 100%. And now it's uh, very easy to tell that 90% would equal to 0 0.9 and 10% would equal to 0 0.1. So here is our answer, and this is exactly what we have here. So uh, the statement would be true. So answer A. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.